Good afternoon and welcome to the um, College of Mass Communications and Media Arts. We are glad to have you here today for the Day of Giving. My name is Lisa Knight. I'm the Director of Development for the College. And with me today is our new, somewhat new Dean, H.D. Uh, Motel. Can you I, tell us a little bit about yourself? I will. I'll be happy to. Um, you almost forgot where we were. We are, in <laughs> fact, in the communications building in the studios of WSIU, one of the great partners for our, our, our college. Um, um, my name is H.D. Motel. As Lisa said, I am the dean of the college. Um, I was faculty here in radio television. Then I was chair of the, a couple of departments. But you know what? That's not so important. Um, what's really important is what you can do for us and for the students um, today on this wonderful day of giving, our fifth year in a row of, of this day of giving. Um, so what else do you want to know about me, Lisa? Well, tell us a little bit about how COVID has affected the teaching uh, with, with mm -hmm. the classes. And, and this is a very hands-on college. Tell us what's what's been different well that is a big we do you know tout that even with prospective students about how hands-on we are and it, it became um a real issue of course because how do you teach production um remotely uh unless people use their phones which is possible um, a possibility and you know unless they have cameras unless they have the editing uh tools to do it on their on their computers um, so it has been a, a bit of a challenge, uh, but we've had faculty really rise to the challenge. Uh, one, one faculty member in particular in cinema and photography, Cade Bursell, actually after the spring, because the spring was a big pivot for everybody. Everybody had to uh, really uh, immediately, very quickly think outside the box. But she planned ahead in for the fall semester and created um, packages for each of her students. Um, it was a, an intro level production class um, that we could send to folks, send to the students so that they could use them. And why am I telling you this story? Because that's one of the funds, um, we used funds from um, one of those accounts that we want you to contribute to. Um, there is a technology and the equipment fund that you will see on the MCMA page when you go to contribute. Um, and that money will go toward things like creating um, uh, those packages that students can use for equipment or for uh, um, also we're looking at new technologies like uh, a, uh, AR, um, VR, virtual reality. And so that fund will also uh, uh, go toward uh, those programs too. Well, thank you for that. Um, tell us about the emergency fund and the scholarships oh, God, right. that we have. Yeah, and those were two, that was the emergency fund I should have, you know, immediately jumped into because that was a huge uh, uh, saving grace for us from, uh, during COVID because, you know, there were lots of things that students needed, you know, that, um, during COVID, but you know, we also use that emergency fund when folks are just, you know, their loan didn't come in um, as quickly as they thought it would, or their, you know, their scholarship is still on hold for a moment. Um, and so they can't register until they pay off some kind of bursar bill. Maybe it's a parking bill. We actually don't pay parking bills. <laughs> um, but uh, we, that fund is used for that. And again, that is one of the things that you can contribute to. And tell us about the, the the development funds for like visiting scholars, different things uh -huh. that we have, and how right. the students can be involved in that. Right, right. You know, so a lot of our funds are for scholarships. The emergency uh, scholar, the emergency fund. There's actually a fund that is for uh, production and scholarly work for students. So it kind of defrays the cost of making a short film. Um, but you know, we. What's really important in a student's education is to have other folks coming in to visit. And, you know, and it's sort of uh, now because of COVID, we've had a lot of folks come in uh, virtually. Um, but we're, you know, we're hoping to go back soon uh, face to face. And we want to bring visiting artists in, visiting practitioners to come and speak to our students. And so that there is a, a development fund that each of the departments um, in journalism and in cinema and photography, and it's called an activities fund in radio, television, digital media. Um, and those help to fund research by the faculty, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, but it also funds um, visiting artists and practitioners and scholars to come back and, and, and work with the students. 
Um, but if I can go back to the, um, the idea of the research, faculty research, um, our faculty is, uh, there are a lot of people who are still working, making documentary, making TV, making short films, um, writing, critiquing. Um, and, you know, they need uh, some uh, support for their research. And so the development funds um, uh, and the activities funds help to uh, fund that research. Um, and what's important about that is that it just, it seems like it's only going to the faculty. But the faculty will also use a lot of students um, in their work. Um, I know that uh, the director of the School of Journalism, Jan Thompson, was doing a documentary about um, uh, uh, prisoners of war. And she not only had students acting in it, but she, most of her crew was uh, were students. So that they're getting the classroom, um, uh, they're getting the classroom experience and then using it, working with the faculty. So that research money that the faculty is using also helps and kind of trickles down, if you will, to the students and they're getting real world experience. So that's, it's really exciting because here at SIU, the freshmen can get, involved in the fundraising or I'm sorry in the research and projects right away and that's something that is very appealing to a lot of students that I've noticed that uh, they talk about how they're so excited that they can start not their junior and senior year but their freshman year and so it really comes full circle with that fun helping with the uh, with the professors helping the students and mm -hmm. I think that that's a wonderful fun that we should be definitely promoting. We definitely should do that. And we're gonna show you a video right now that will look at the program. So this is a recruitment video, but so we're kind of recruiting you to contribute. At SIU's College of Mass Communication and Media Arts, we train our students to become expert storytellers in the world of media, whether those stories are fictional or factual. Our students learn about the world of film, journalism, radio, television, and more. You'll learn to not only master the technical skills needed, but also the theory, history, and impact these forms of storytelling have on society, ensuring adaptability as the world of media changes and advances. So let's get started showing you all that we have to offer. Our college has three main degree programs with several ways to specialize your skills in each industry. These areas of study are cinema and photography, journalism, and radio, television, and digital media. In cinema and photography, you can specialize in areas like film production, screenwriting, documentary, and experimental filmmaking, to name a few. Students studying photography will practice digital and analog skills in areas of fine art or commercial photography. Both areas have committed student groups who continue their practice and training beyond the classroom, creating lifelong connections that have resulted in a solid alumni base in places like LA, Chicago, and Atlanta. In journalism, our college is training a new generation of multimedia journalists. You can focus on news, photojournalism, sports media, or advertising. Journalism is so much more than just conveying news to the public. Our photojournalism classes regularly work with towns in Southern Illinois and even globally, learning how to capture the essence of a story or moment in a snapshot. Interested in marketing, but looking to also flex your creative muscles, Check out what our advertising students are doing in the Saluki Ad Lab. We also offer options for getting your degree online. The radio, television, and digital media major covers a broad range of specialties in media, including animation, broadcast news, sports media, television, and audio production, where you can also learn about the music industry and connect with musicians and producers locally and in nearby Nashville, Tennessee. WSIU Sports. Students get professional level experience and credits while still in college, working for places like WSIU, our PBS and NPR affiliated station, based right in our communications building. Or you can work with Saluki Athletics, streaming many of our home games on ESPN Plus, in what is considered the gold standard model for other schools and universities in the Missouri Valley Conference. In all areas of study, we emphasize hands-on learning with access to state-of-the-art facilities and technology. We have several media-focused student organizations who continue their experiential learning outside the classroom, many of which are already learning the business side of their art by working with clients both on and off campus. Groups like our Emmy-winning Alt News 2646, 
our nationally recognized student newspaper, The Daily Egyptian, student chapters of the National Association of Black Journalists, and the American Advertising Federation. The Big Muddy Film Crew, which produces the longest running student produced film festival in the US. Or our award winning live student newscast, River Region Evening Edition, which airs on WSIU, broadcasting out to more than 3 million people across five states. We can't forget our Living Learning Community, or LLC, located on West Campus, where students in our programs can choose to live, collaborate, and socialize with like-minded artists in the comfort of their own residence hall. All of these opportunities, along with internships, dedicated faculty bringing years of professional experience into the classroom, and guidance from SIU's Career Development Center, help us to prepare our students for lifelong careers in media. In a world where access to information is ever expanding, media makers are in high demand. Industries and people all over the world need artists to help tell their stories. You can be that artist. Want to learn more? Email us at mcma at siu.edu or find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at siucmcma. Wow, HD, what a fantastic recruiting video. I, I can't believe what a great job you guys did on this, this video to get everything covered. Um, why don't we break that down just a little bit and talk about the different things that were in the video. Um, how about something really new this year is the Big Money Film Festival has to go all virtual. So can you talk about that a little bit and let us know how that's all changed for MICFA this year? Well, it's a, the process is pretty much the same of getting the films in. It is just how we're going to screen the films. Um, and unfortunately, we, we were really looking forward to working with the Varsity Theater downtown, um, and we had to end up doing it virtually, which is not unusual in this time. The, the, even the major film festivals, um, Toronto, New York, whatever, they're all doing it virtually too. Um, but the, the great thing about this is the faculty, graduate students, undergraduate students all got together to, to make sure that this film festival went on. This is the 43rd year of the film festival. It would have been the first year ever that it would not have happened if we didn't do it virtually. Um, and you can support this film festival. If you go to the MCMA page to contribute, you know, one of the drop down in the drop down menu is the Big Muddy Film Festival. Um, so, um, yeah, we're really proud of that. Um, and, you know, the, the crazy thing about the Big Muddy is even before I came here uh, to teach, I knew about the Big Muddy um, and lots of people um, across the U.S. know about the Big Muddy. It's, you know, partially because it's been around for so long, but it's such a quality um, film festival also. And, and let's move on to Alt News and the different Emmys that the students have won. Talk, talk about that a little bit. Um, well, Alt News is about 20, it's a, uh, 20 years old, something like that. There's like 30 some Emmys that they've won. They've also won Student um, Academy Awards. Um, uh, there, it, it is a, uh, it's aired right here. We're sitting in the studios of WSIU and it airs on WSIU. It's a, it's a kind of, uh, if you don't know it, it is a quirky and irreverent look at the news. Sometimes stories are really poignant, other times they're very funny. Um, last year, the students went to Wisconsin for the Shrek Festival, and they were literally dressed up like Shrek um, when they were uh, interviewing everybody. Um, so and that, so that, that, that contributing to that fund would be to support their travel. Um, there's a, you know, some software that they buy for their work. Um, some equipment, so it would really be supporting that award-winning uh, um, extracurricular program. And speaking of news, how about that River Region Evening Edition? How about we're sitting on the right, the exactly. River Region <laughs> Evening Edition. Um, you know, again, it's a it is one of those things. That's a co-curricular organization, so that there are there are classes that are actually feeding right into the news. Um, but the uh, again on WSIU four nights a week live half hour um, newscast with sports news and weather. Um, so students sit behind this desk with stories that they've written or somebody else has written. There are people in the control room over there behind that wall 
um, that are all students. Uh, there are a couple of adults, of course, in the room because you got to have adults in the room. <laughs> um, and uh, but you know they're uh, all over the region, so um, the contribution to them helps them to not only be able to learn their craft, um, but helps with um, uh, entries into contests, um, into uh, festivals, because they'll contribute stuff to, uh, they'll enter stuff into festivals too. And speaking of awards, um, let's talk about the, the Daily Egyptian, who is 100 years old, plus. Plus. Right. Definitely and, plus. Um, so let's talk about that. They, they, we just had some a major awards won, correct? Yep, it won 18 awards at the Illinois College uh, Newspaper Foundation. Um, 18 awards all over the newspaper for writing, for design, for f photojournalism. Really amazing. Um, and, you know, and it's all across the state of Illinois, you know, competing with bigger, like the University of Illinois program. Um, so they held their own um, and we're really proud of them. And as you said, they're 100 years old. They more than 100 years old. They've just changed their logo. Uh, a lot of their work is done online. Um, and so it helps to support that. There are, you know, the, the editor in chief, some of the uh, managing editors are all paid. So a fund contributing to that fund will help um, those students. And something relatively new to MECMA is the Ad Lab, uh, the student-run organization. Can you talk about that a little bit and let us know how successful they've been even in competition and how they're building up the, um, the, the Ad Lab itself? Mm -hmm. They were really successful their first year out. That is uh, one of our uh, professors over in advertising, um, Bridget Lasellius, runs the program. It, again, like River Region, it's co-curricular so that there are classes that feed right into it or the work that they do with clients on campus and off campus. Um, uh, they even had a client from Chicago when the census was being done that, uh, and they were doing work in um, Spanish um, to try to get to the Spanish speaking population here in Southern Illinois to uh, be counted in the census. Uh, yeah, so they're really, um, they're, they're thriving and growing and, um, and again, <laughs> contributing to that helps those students. <laughs> Thank you. And so let's move on. Let's talk about all the exciting news. It's actually been in the news, um, the, the new mass communications building and then how the program is going forward and about a possible name change coming up pretty soon. Right. Where do I start? First, we'll start with the <laughs> renovation of the communications building. Um, you know, this building has been around since 1964. This would be the first major renovation um, since then. Uh, and we're all looking forward to it and, and jockeying for more space and more room inside the building. We've been working with the architects on that, and we should be breaking ground. There are lots of naming opportunities for those of you. Absolutely. Or excuse me, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Um, but there are, you know, there's uh, uh, there are uh, rooms to be named, whatever, um, within the new building, um, um, if you're so inclined. Um, and the, I guess the big news is that we have um, a big change coming on July 1st. The College of Mass Communication and Media Arts will now be called the College of Arts and Media and will include, besides the schools that in departments that we have here, radio, television, cinema, and photography, and school of journalism, we will have the School of Architecture, the School of Art and Design, the School of Music, and the Department of Theater. And during that transition, this uh, CP, Cinema and Photography, and RTD will merge to form the School of Media Arts. So that's where we'll be after July 1st. And so can I just say that some of you these- sure um, these donations that you've given will really help those students as we try to go out and market this new school of arts and media, this new college of arts and media, excuse me, we can um, use the funds that you're giving for the scholarships and, and equipment or whatever um, to bring students into this new college that will is, there is no other college that has the breadth of arts and media like this one will in the state system. I'm sorry, I th I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I thought you were getting ready to say something. <laughs> so um, let's talk about how you can help the college. We would love for you to join us this year. We've had several gifts already coming in. I think we had one from, we had a kind of a, we might have the top one as far as distance. Did we have a gift come in from? from Belgium. 
from Russell. one of our alums um, in Belgium. Wow, um, but, fantastic. <laughs> but Some... this is only because we know, sometimes we don't know who the people are because they, I mean, we don't know where they are. Um, but that, that particular person, we do know that he's in Belgium. You know, we have faculty that are giving, they're giving to, um, we have some folks who are giving to in honor of their favorite teacher. So if you have a favorite teacher that you want to give money to, um, Joey Helaney, who is actually one of our uh, longtime faculty members, has a few people that have contributed in his, in his name. And something we'd like to encourage, this is our fifth year of the Day of Giving. We'd love to see gifts come in in fives. So $5, $50, $500, $5,000. We're okay with that too. So anything you can do to help us on this day, your, the students, uh, the future is made by your gifts. And we appreciate everything that you guys do by giving. And we can't thank you enough, really. Thank you for all the, uh, the donation that you will give to us for the future of our college and the students. Thank you.